adjustments as the season goes on. And, and also, I think it makes sense a lot for them because Glister is overall a little bit more flexible than Stalker. And if you can play that Sombra role, great. Then it's even better for their squad overall. So Fusion Uni going to be on this offense first. Or rather, I should say on this defense first. Genji gonna be on the offense. Genji rolling out with triple DPS. The solo tank over on that Orisa. We are on the May. And with this May versus the Fusion Unity's comp, they're expecting the ability to stop the rush, to stop the 3 3 from engaging onto Oberon, and then set up a key spam. It's an interesting look here for Fusion Unity to still be on 3 3 versus this, because they had to expect that something DPS heavy was on the way out, and DPS comps have been winning this on point A across all maps and game types. And Fusion Unity already under a lot of pressure, the wall keeping them off point to a degree, already one tick towards Gen G, and Fusion Unity kept off the point Beast Halo sleeping off on the other side, and this is a lot of free progress to Gen G right now. Fusion Uni looking lost. Fusion Uni now re entering. Having to use that bubble very early. It's still very low as well for Fusion Uni. Bernard solo under pressure. Getting this left. B Halo. No Matrix. Not a lot of heals. Remember, this is then Lucio. So not a lot of heals now, but a huge pick on the green. Great right, already down. Gen G. Over and in with Keith finishing it off. Blister very, very close to an EMP. Of course, the ideal for Genji would be to not use it here. Instead, Heat moving forward, Barrage ready. And just gonna use it to immediately go for the Rhine. Beast Halo down, but that's a worthy trade. Rhine down on the other side, now you have to try and deal with the Risa shield. This is so advantageous to Genji right now. They're getting off the point. Can they get test? Can anyone touch? They don't touch! I mean, they, they, Alarm, he finds, he finds Blizz, he's still in the back line. He finds Creative as well. But the reality is that they're off the point. They didn't get the stop there. I Anytime thought they were I... the trance or anything in there, but they decided just to give it up. Anytime I see a 3-3 lose on point A, I just like hear in my head, thought we taught you this lesson already, old man. Like, DPS comps generally deal with 3-3 really well in these point A situations, and Fusion Uni, the best they could hope to do there was stall. I think King's Row is definitely a, a map still that enables for 3-3 to be run, but it's more of a question of now, in particular, for... A, first point still probably the best point of the entire map for Triple DPS. And then B, now the situation where here comes the EMP very soon, but Glister, he's in some danger. He's gonna back up there, maybe he's hoping for the bait. I, I think it was trying to bait out the Transcendence, but guess what? Snillo's already down. Alarm didn't even realize the trouble. There's no Transcendence, and Fusion Uni just getting picked off one by one, and the EMP not even needing to be used. And the reality is for Fusion Uni, you see, they're holding on to both support ults. They could have committed them. But they neither Elf or Alarm wants to commit a support ult when the EMP is still out on the field. Well, that EMP is still out, if you commit the support ult early, it, it's very tough because they also know that we all is going to have that wizard very soon after. The barrage probably no, also going to be following it up. So it's just a situation where it's a game of chicken. It's a game of ult chicken. Ultimate chicken. Due to the fact that neither support wants to commit an ult before Glister drops that EMP. G. Rolling over the point, Fusion Union gonna make their stand now, rally out early, but Alarm picked off! But Keedy able to take him down, there will be no Transcendence, the EMP can be used! And it strikes four, Fusion Uni. They drop the Graviton, desperately trying to swap it. Instead, it's Chili on the point, the Blizzard's out! Still out, getting frozen, done, and over with. This is a speed run, coming in from Gen G. And that was potentially still salvageable for Fusion Uni if Alarm was alive! Sadly, Alarm was not alive. So even with the perfect ult usage there of Elf making sure not to be caught and using that grab there and the rally, they can't sustain through that fight. The Blizzard was out. They just did not have the trance, most importantly. So for Jinji, though, they blew most of their ults. They do not have any of their fight winners. They do have a... They do have the Supercharger. But Supercharger versus Transcendence, I'll take the Transcendence there. A lot of this for this upcoming fight is going to be, look at the shield presence, look how they set up Bernard's bomb. I imagine Oberon might, set, might save the ult here. Going to drop the bomb over really, going to drop the Supercharger. Look to try the to Supercharger's get down. Defense. Shield broken, Supercharger's done, so not much impact there, but Gen.G still trying to rotate with Fuji in the bad spot. Bernard almost getting demecked here. As pressure comes in, the wall splits. Bernard has to drop the self-destruct on point, but it's not going to be very effective at all. Flying Ice Block, we all down. It's an interesting interaction there, to put it mildly. And Snillo! You hand deliver the May. You hand deliver the May to Snillo. <laughs> uh, actually, decent comeback from Snillo. Still able to take down two. Buying Fusion Uni. Decent amount of time here, but... Man, this has been a tough beginning.
And by the way, Fusion Uni only able to turn the tide after swapping off 3 3. Jinji gonna make them swap their own here. Going to the Sombra Goat setup, Blister is about to have EMP, Creative is about to have Nano. And look at Fusion University's ult bank. I mean, they have nothing. They have almost nothing to deny this. The, the Infrasight will buy them some time in terms of being able to scout for Blister. But they have no defenses. This entire push is gonna be very reliant on Stilo and Nice being able to find some early picks. If they can't find anything early, it's very unlikely they're able to win that post fight. Infrasight is up, Snillo desperately looking for one pick off here to turn the tide. Nice drops Dragon Strike right down the middle. Genji, give it a little bit of respect, they wait. But now they can move in with the MP. Still though, able to find Creative. Creative peaked. It pays the price. And that's that's exactly what they needed. That's exactly what Fusion needed. They need to find one pick there, and Creative is probably one of the best. Ruin the fuck support. The Infrasight was also keeping Blister under control because he was afraid to commit it. He's still being revealed. So now Fusion Unity, they built up the bomb. They're about to have Valk. Valk good against EMP engages. And Jinji, they're going to have to wait a little bit. They're going to make the swap. Creative going to the Zen. They don't have any other ults besides the EMP. Snow has been the one giving Fusion University new life here on point C. Minute 51 left to go. Blister still hanging on to the EMP as Genji tries to get good position. Oberon and we all just getting beaten up on entry. You have to spend some time healing as Blister goes to the back. This foot is so good, DP. This foot is so good. Though, as I say that, there are hard books in Beast Halo. Beast is going to go down. Beast goes down. Genji getting decent progress here. Oberon's still somehow alive. If Oberon gets healed up, this is winnable for Genji. Resurrection up. But Oberon getting healed. Not quite probably yet. Trent going to be used. Blister drops EMP. The time's now for Genji. But Oberon gets blown up. Can't get away from the self destruct. Down Oberon. Fusion Uni gets back on the point. Snillo, this is a Reaper alert! Emergency Reaper heading on to the point. And Fusion Uni gonna be repelling Gen G once more. Not only repelling, but didn't have to commit Transcendence. Did not have to commit Transcendence in that fight. The EMP was extremely lackluster from Blister. He wasn't even able to deny Bernard getting back into the mech. Now Gen G, they've lost their win condition for that fight. They've lost the EMP. They're in a situation where they can enter this next fight and Alarm will still have Transcendence. Their support ults will not be as strong here if Bliss's beat and also Wakid's rally. Because Transcendence can sort of mitigate the value for both. With Beast also having that early supercharger, there's an opportunity for them to drop it and just try to shred tanks. Because no, he's on this Reaper. Beat can be used early by Gen G. They take the initiative, they move on forward. Elk already caught and down. Six on five for Gen G. Rally can be invested. Bomb making more space at the point. Fusion Union, they have to use Rally just to get test for Alarm to get into a better spot. Beast Halo. Down, Genji swarming onto the point, and it's just Snillo. One of the last remaining here is Reaper versus the world. Here at the point, buying a decent amount of time, but does not look to be enough. Hammond in towards the end, but Genji an overwhelming edge on the point now. But they finish with time. Oh no! That was 1.5 seconds. The Fusion Unit needed to delay. And there it is. Time of the clock, and there it is. The, the saying as it goes, and there it is. And realistically, an incredibly good opening there for Jinji, using the beat up very aggressively, moving in onto that back line. I have to question the validity of the Reaper. Though. I do have to question the validity of Reaper, because I guarantee you in that scenario, the Fusion Unity back line probably survives. They probably don't have to use Trance that early if they have a Brigida or something of that nature, rather than a Reaper. Uh, it, I think their plan was to play around the supercharger and have Snillo shred the tanks. But Jinji, they sort of just read through that plan and said, let's run past the Orisa, say <laughs> bye bye, supercharger, we have a beat, and go to your back line. So I have to ask here you mentioned, okay, you questioned the Reaper pick. Is there any situation in Overwatch you can conceive of where you would not question the Reaper pick? Yes, there there is. If you're playing, let's say, if the enemy team is playing like duo tank hog Winston, that's the one perfect time, perfect time for Reaper there. So, so there is one scenario that you would be okay with. Well, I mean, also, I mean, also, if it's, if it, pretty much if there's a scenario in which Diva does not exist, in which Brigida does not exist, you know, any it, it, in most comps currently, you're not going to be finding a scenario where neither Diva or Brigida is not in it. So that's why, really, I say no to Reaper. I say no to Reaper, and you should too. Oh, I do. I just wanted to get the rant out of you. So that's a PSA. Yeah, that's, that's a PSA to everyone. 
<laughs> That's really just a direct PSA. The education coming on here early in the morning if you're in the U.S. watching. So of course, people watching from all around the world. Genji right now defending on the Sombra, but all right, Oberon's down immediately. Fusion Uni just rushes in. They win the tank battle, and Genji's they're in a really rough spot. I think this is point A already, the Fusion Uni. With the D-back on a Bernard, there's a chance that we can test here. Blister, he's getting a lot of value from the poke. 70% on the EV already. Are they going to get back in, though, to contest, though? Are they going to be able to stop this? And it looks like, no, they're not going to be able to. Wakid, he tried to make a mad dash, and he gets picked up. And now this is very, very great for Jinji, because look at this high energy. Nice. He's going to walk forward, and he's not going to stop. And this is the classic walk forward. You know you have advantage. And Jinji, those weakness. Anytime you run a Sombra 3-2-1 setup is that you are at risk of getting dove upon by a more standard 3-3 setup. Even though I, I say standard, but we've really deviated away from it. But the old standard 3-3 setup is still good in the early opening fight against the Sombra. But for Jinji, they do have a couple options here, a couple gambits. They have they have an EMP, they have a nade, they have the grab to try to force her sentence early and then set up the EMP. There's a lot of options here for Jinji to counter alarm transcendence and just look for this early engage. But they don't have to look for the early engage. They can play a little slow right now. Blister, EMP's ready. The goal here for Genji, of course, is restabilize. This fight going to be incredibly crucial to that. You need your input P fights to go well. Genji, fighting the time. Blister lucky not to get picked off by the air and fire strike. Graviton in from Fusion Uni. They're taking the initiative. This is usually good when up against EMP. Nano Boost though, going to be invested here by Genji. Beat these Halo down. And they get to roll forward, and more importantly, they get to save the EMP. Great discipline there from Genji. To, they didn't decide to commit either the grab or the EMP. See, Bernard is getting staggered here. Some more time off the clock for Genji. And a, great, a good use of nano there from Creative as well. Using that nano to keep himself alive. Bliss didn't even have to commit the beat either. So being able to sustain through that fight and move forward here where they can now set up the EMP Shatter. And EMP Shatter is a much more effective combination here versus the Transcendence without having to have to commit the grab before, just dropping that EMP Shatter. Really, really huge. I mean, Fusion University is about to take a trip to the ultimate washing machine in all likelihood because they're going to walk forward. And you're right, EMP Shatter is the most likely way that this fight ends. Where, yeah, okay, they don't hit Alarm, but they hit everyone else with the EMP Shatter, and that's enough. He's Halo already down, and Alarm decides, you know what, I'm not going to transcend here. It's not worth it. Yeah, Alarm knows better. Alarm knows better than even commit.